Spanish lovers. Yo soy Alex y bienvenidos a mi canal. Today we are learning the Spanish genders of the nouns. I know this is a hard topic, so I'm gonna divide the video in two parts because otherwise it will be too long. And let's go. So in Spanish we have four definite articles which are el, la, los, las, which means the, and four indefinite articles which are un, una, unos, unas, which means a, n, one. Let's start with the definite articles, okay? El is used for things which have a masculine gender in singular and los is its plural form. Un is the indefinite article for a masculine gender in singular and unos is its plural form. Unos could be sometimes translated as a pair of, several or some. Notice that we can also say literally a pair of by saying un par de. For example, el coche. El coche es rojo. Los coches. Los coches son rojos. Un coche. Tengo un coche rojo. Unos coches. Meaning more than one. He visto unos coches rojos. La is used for things which have a feminine gender in singular and las is its plural form. Una is the indefinite article for a feminine gender in singular and unas is its plural form. It works exactly the same as a masculine form. For example, la silla. La silla es bonita. Las sillas. Las sillas son bonitas. Una silla. Una silla está rota. Unas sillas. He comprado unas sillas nuevas. I bought some new chairs. That's what we, that's what we mean when we say unas sillas nuevas. It's like saying some new chairs. And now you're probably wondering, right? How can I know, how can I guess the gender of every word? Because it's a little bit hard. Okay, so let me tell you that there are some rules, but there are also a lot of exceptions. So um, I think the, the, um, the, best, um, the best way to learn this is just learning the noun and the article together. And I suggest you to learn the articles with a different color. So, for example, feminine articles could be one color, for example, red, okay? And masculine articles could be, for example, you could be using the color blue or green or yellow, whatever. But um, that's the, the way I, I use to learn uh, the German articles and it helped me a lot. So this is really important. So now let's have a look at the next table because it has some tips which might help us to guess if the word is masculine or feminine. So masculine words are those words which end by O, for example, el trabajo, el libro, aje, el traje, el viaje, miento, el pimiento, el sufrimiento, cardinal points, el norte, the north, el sur, the south, el este, the east, el oeste, the west, days of the week, el lunes, el martes, etc. Months, 
el enero, el febrero, but this is actually not very used. It is just um, used maybe when we when you want to refer to the last uh, the last December in Spanish we say el pasado diciembre or el diciembre pasado and the numbers el uno el dos el tres etc. And finally also the name of the rivers, lakes, mountains and oceans. Like, for example, el Atlántico, which is an ocean, el Everest, el Nilo, and so on. Okay, so now let's have a look at the next table because it has some tips to guess which words have a um, feminine gender, okay? So, words which end by a, like, for example, la casa or la mesa. But be careful with this because there are many exceptions. So most of the words which end by a are feminine, but some others are not, so be careful. Then words which end by eth or eza, for example, la vez or la tristeza. Words which end by uh, zeta, z, la cruz. La nariz. Words which end by cion, sion, or zon. For example, la información, la presión, la razón. Words which end by ncia. N-C-I-A. So, la provincia. La paciencia. And then also the letters of the alphabet. For example, la A, la B, la C. We say it like this with the article la, which is feminine. So, and that was all for today's video. And I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to have a look at the Instagram account of the channel, which is Love Spanish Net, because there you will find some vocabulary and some exercises that you can do. Okay? So, that was all. Adios. Bye. Tschüss.